Transitioning from primary to secondary school is an exciting time that can also be challenging for both students and families. This video introduces you to students and school staff from William Ruthven Primary School and William Ruthven Secondary College who work together with families and the community to ensure smooth student transitions. Let's start off with hearing why a good transition is important. It helps them to minimise the anxiety that they are feeling about moving from a stable environment where they know everybody, they know their teachers, going into a, a much bigger environment where there's a whole element of unknown. I think it's really um, an important process over the journey of secondary schooling that students start well and that we continue to monitor them over, the, over that journey. Research has shown in the past that sometimes learning can take a bit of a dip when students go from grade 6 to year 7 to a new school. So we try to do a number of things that um, minimises that, that, that dip in their learning. So we like to get to know students before they come if we can and um, get to know what their learning needs are as quickly as we can. I think it's really important that we make sure we're monitoring learning growth and the progress of students so that we're setting them up by the time they get to year 10, 11 and 12 to, ma to be making good choices around their learning and they've got um, viable pathways for the future. We know that secondary school can be quite different to primary school. After all, there's new subjects, new friends, different teachers and we often hear there's a lot more homework too. Grade 6 students from William Ruthven Primary School took the opportunity to ask Year 7 students about some of the issues on their minds. Are people nice over there? <laughs> yeah, people are nice over there and the way that they transition into the high school is in Year 7 you sort of hang out with your own classmates and then you slowly start like seeing the older kids in that but they're not that intimidating, they're really nice. Is there a big difference between primary school and high school or once you settle in do you find it easier? Once you settle in, it is quite easy, but there is quite a large difference. Roughly how much homework do you get each day? Well, depending on what subject it is and what teacher it is, you generally get up to maybe one worksheet or like a paragraph to write for each subject, averaging. How do the teachers deal with bullying? We have a lot of teachers there who are willing to help. There's options of counselling and things like that. They will confront the situation, they won't just let it fly by, but you need to let the teachers know, otherwise they can't do anything. Do you find high school enjoyable? Yes, very. While transitioning from primary to secondary school can have its challenges, let's hear from a parent about what made for a successful transition and what attracted her and her child to the school. We just loved the feel of the community of the school. It's just a, a great, the teachers were very welcoming, very accepting, but when we came for the orientation, it was like, wow, these people are accepting my kid and they are doing every, it's like as if they've known them forever and it's like, well, I like this. So that's what made us stay here. We had plenty of schools in our area and we did go and look at them, but we just, you know when they say you just click? Well, we just clicked. Starting somewhere new can often take some time getting used to. It is important to know that there are teachers and staff who will help students and their families during this exciting time of settling into a new school. Let's hear from students at William Ruthven Secondary College as they reflect on their experiences and share how their school has helped them transition into Year 7. I was really nervous because from my primary school it was only me and my sister coming into William Ruthven Secondary College. but yeah, when I got here, it wasn't as nervous as it really seemed. It's been really up and down, I guess. Um, with That's like with social, social stuff, like with friends and stuff. I've changed like from group to group, I guess, but everything else, um, like school subjects, education, it's been really good. I always thought the school was gonna be really big. There's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be difficult to remember where to go but then you really, you come to the school and it's not as, you don't worry as much as you thought you would. Primary school, you were in the same classroom with the same teachers and your lockers were there with you all the time. But in high school, you sort of, you're not in one place all the time and it's a bit more running around and getting everything. Also the um, year seven camp 
which was at the start of the year and also there was a um, transition day where we went to YMCA um, camp which was a day camp and we had like teamwork things to do. You get to bond with other students that you thought you would never have like a friendship with and you kind of get to know people's personalities the way they do things. It's pretty daunting coming to a new place seeing new faces and not knowing teachers and all that. I think getting used, getting used to the high school life, so it's a bit different from primary school. You're not just in one classroom, you're moving around three different buildings, different teachers, getting used to names. In year six, going into year seven, I remember being slightly scared, but also this, at the same time excited because being familiar with them primary school, a lot of the students from the primary school were going to the high school, so I was going to be able to maintain those friendships, but I was really excited to make new friendships. Moving successfully between year levels is just as important. Let's hear how the students feel about transitioning from one year level to another. Next year, we get moved into the building with year 8s to 12s, so we're kind of going to have to be careful of all these like taller people around us and also having to go from a lot of different classes with a lot more things. At the end of year seven we did have the chance like we had a lot more classes in the A block so we got used to being around a lot of people. In year eight I found that we have a lot more friendships with different year levels. Homework I think has become easier as we've adapted to it. We had a year to adapt adapt to it like when we first in year seven they slowly introduced it. It's clear that schools, parents and the community should work together to protect and promote the health, well-being and learning of students as they transition into and through secondary school. The parent role is particularly important with research showing that students whose parents are involved in their education are more likely to adapt better to school. With the help and support of community agencies, there are even more positive impacts on students and on schools themselves. So a team approach to transition is really worthwhile for everyone, especially the students. Let's wrap up the video by hearing from some key school staff and a member of a community agency who will explain how they work together with students, families and the wider community to ensure students are well supported through their transition. We also have information evenings for our grade five and six parents um, within the community. Each year we have a middle school information evening so that if a student in year eight or year nine wants to come and gather further information um, about how they're settling into uh, secondary school, we also give the parents the opportunity to attend that as well. To have an open and honest conversations with all parties involved, so not only your parents, but also the school. Um, find a teacher that you can really build a rapport with and, and you can have conversations with them because that's, that's the key at the end of the day. It's all about building a rapport with, with the school, with the teachers, with the parents and with the student. So it's, it's everyone coming together for that common goal. Try and build a good rapport through running different programs with the students in year seven. So um, girls group we run for girls to get to know each other and make friendship groups, um, cel whole school celebration days, attending camps, excursions and those kinds of things. Mm. So that if the students need help at any time, they know where to find us. We also run um, some sessions, just information sessions about um, things that, you know, year sevens need to know, things about bullying and um, personal hygiene and things like that to help them. And I also support some of the students with extra transition, kids with special needs and things like that. They need to come in for a bit more help. I can help with that. And financial support through uniform, yeah, true. state schools relief, yeah. books and, and all of that kind of stuff. We get to know them and monitor their progress through um, our Compass Chronicle, for example, and looking at the, their learning tasks and um, providing them feedback for them so that they know what their next steps are um, and what they need to do to improve. We also um, keep the communication going between the families with information nights, uh, parent-teacher nights. We um, have course counselling sessions with them as well. So when they go from, say, 9 to 10 or 10 to 11 and 11 to 12, we need to make sure that they're really choosing um, the best subjects for them and that, that they match what their expectations are. Part of us, our relationship is supporting schools to talk about transition, to put that as a priority, but also to help facilitate those relationships. Because we're dealing with uh, young people and entering into their teenage years, it's a very varied journey. So getting the parents and the school, both primary and secondary, 
in line together to start that out really well is, is a really important thing for the long-term safety and, and happiness of the students at school and therefore their, their learning outcomes. One of the things that happens when uh, students hit high school is they want to disconnect a little bit more. They're becoming teenagers and, and the fact is that uh, they peer group becomes the most important thing for students at that age. I really urge parents to make sure that they work with us as a school to keep that triangulation together of parent, student and school because we need to talk to each other all the time. It's important for our community to know that we're here and we are rebuilding and we're rebuilding our profile and our name um, and also our programs to make sure that we service the community. This video was produced as part of the Joining the Dots in Reservoir Project 2017 with funding support from School Focus Youth Service. On behalf of the Project Steering Group in a Northern Local Learning and Employment Network, would like to thank the students, staff and families from William Ruthven Primary and Secondary Schools, Darabin City Council and Salinger Photography and Communications.